Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. I'd like to start this morning with a scripture reading from John chapter 5, verses 19 through 29. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, the Son can do nothing on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. The Father loves the Son and shows him all that he himself is doing. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you will be astonished. Indeed, just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whomsoever he wishes. The Father judges no one but has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Anyone who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Very truly I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life, and does not come under judgment but is passed from death to life. Very truly I tell you the hour is coming and is now here, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be astonished at this, for the hour is coming, when all who are in their graves will hear his voice, and will come out, those who have done good, to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil, to the resurrection of condemnation. Please join me now in a time together in prayer this morning now. Let us now pray together. Almighty God, everything that you do reveals your glory and your majesty. Open our eyes to see what you are doing in our lives each day. Let us marvel at your good gifts and your wise provision. We cannot comprehend the number of blessings that you pour out on us from day to day. As we are reminded of you every day when seeing your amazing acts happen in our own lives, we pray that you would fill our hearts, our minds, and our souls with your spirit today. Transform us, Lord, and make us more like you. Through Jesus Christ, we pray. Our Lord, Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you right here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great Thursday today.